Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna review another figure from NECA. I found this recently at Target. Uh, it's a razor from a razor, the movie. Uh, the Ultimate Pinhead. Of course, you know the franchise based on Clive Barker books. I think there's five of them. Don't remember right now, but I'm a fan of most. The first three are pretty good. After that, eh, it's kind of arguable. Amazing artwork as always. Based, based of course, from the, um, the movie poster. Very nice box. I love the the way that NECA does these boxes. Even if I don't use them for display the figure, still it looks really great as display piece. Um, if you have room, you can always hang it on the back of your collection. If you have room, personally I don't. So for now, I'll always save in the boxes. Of course, try to find the best ones. Not always easy. Okay, like I said, going on the side, we have the Razor logo, font logo. Of course, as I said, these are based on the Clive Barker books that he created some other stuff and it's very interesting movie with an interesting story you, i mean i'm a big fan as a matter of fact i have a tattoo of peanut <laughs> it comes with a bunch of accessories we're gonna see in a second i'm gonna show you inside the box and then of course we're gonna do the unboxing on the back we got a couple of figures that show you how you can display them plenty of options and on the inside one second on the inside the cool picture of him display with the open cube, really cool. Inside, you can see inside is a plenty of accessories you can play with. I'm probably going debating which head I'm gonna use. A lot of accessories, really plenty of uh, way to display and and pose him. Really cool, really cool figure. Like I said, let's go ahead and do the unboxing, okay? And I'm back. Really cool figure. I, I unbox it. I'm impressed by the detail. The legs are a little stiff, so I'm kind of having an issue to display it. Might need to play a little bit with it. Um, it comes with the different accessories. Let's go and check the figure first, and then we're going to see the accessories. Let me put down the cube. Okay. Now, cool. Little uh, great uh, job with the details on the face. You can notice that this is the more serious face. The body is all the, the outfit. Plenty of detail. There's a little rope over here where you can connect this tool of the trade. There's a little, uh, how you want to call it, skirt. <laughs> that it can be um, open a little bit better. You decide what to pose it. It has plenty of sculpture. They put some effort on the bottom too. There's a lot of sculpture on boots and legs. Really cool. The back is really cool too. A bunch of details. Really cool figure. They put a bunch of effort on it really really look alike to the actor in the movie like i said one of my preferred franchises the cameras are fighting with me lately for focus i do apologize let's put it back over here hopefully it's gonna stand up like i said it's a little bit of issue to standing up otherwise you're gonna put it over here gray school there you go let's put it over here on gray school it's gonna stand over there for now <laughs> the other head has um green evil green really cool figure again Really good job with the sculpture on this. Look at all the nails, all the de details on the paint. Like I said, NECA sometimes it's impressive. Some other times, not so much. We have the two different cubes. Oh, it's gonna be fun to focus on this. The open one and the closed one. Plain to detail. Um, perfect look like to the original one from the movie. It's kind of hard to, to put in my hands. This is the open. This is the closed one. You can see if, you, if you've seen the movies, when you open the cube, you actually evocate Pinhead. Uh, we have four different hands, go for the hand, four different hands. Oh, one open, one holding on this tool of the tray, or you can probably two tool of the tray if you prefer. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna display, probably holding the cube. Again, same story for the opposite side. Little bit of imperfection on the paint on this finger, actually. There's not the same. Oh well. Like I said, Neck is not a perfect. Uh, with some tool, like a hook with blood and everything. Really cool effect, effect of blood on it. Really cool. Uh, I would say it's more like an hexo, surgical hexo. Again, kind of hard to tell. It's very small. Very good job with the details. Had a little uh, loopy things. They all have a little loop that you can connect on his rope, on his tool belt. It's connected in his body, too, by the way. <laughs> um, a knife, a very sharp knife. Like I said, I'm sorry, it's very hard to focus on this detail, very small. Again, with all the blood and detail. 
like I said, I really like him. It's a really good figure. They did a good job. Like I said, the only problem maybe is with the legs. So I gotta try to find a good way to pause him. Other than that, like I said, really good job on the detail. Really look alike compared to the movie character. That's it, guys. That was my quick overview of the Ultimate Pinhead from Eraser, from NECA, of course. As always, please like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. God bless you, and God bless America. Bye.